Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 18th of 2025 is titled Comet C-2025 F2 Swan. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of a comet as taken just a few days ago and back back on April the 18th. Now this is Comet Swan and of course there are a lot of Comet Swans and that's because they are detected by a specific instrument on the SOHO spacecraft which observes the sun. So because of all of its observations there, a lot of people can go through the data and then pick out comets. So comets that might not otherwise have been quickly seen can be detected there. And SOHO and SWAN have detected thousands of comets over the lifetime of the spacecraft. Now the comet there, we see the head down toward the lower left hand side. And it is not the actual nucleus of the comet, which would be invisible at this scale. So the cometary nucleus, just a tiny object, generally a few kilometers across. And then when that gets close to the sun, it gets heated up and the material becomes vaporized. Now the cometary nucleus is made primarily of icy material. So when it warms up, it turns from a solid directly into a gas. And then those materials form a halo around it, which is then pushed back by the solar wind. So that long tail stretching out to the upper right is just those same particles released from the comet that are now being pushed back away from the sun by the solar wind. So when we see a comet, we can always tell the direction of the sun because it will be directly opposite to the tail. So if the tail is pointing toward the upper right, the sun would be down below the horizon to the lower left. And that is because the tails are specifically caused by the energy of the sun. Now, the comet Swan here is on its way in toward its closest approach to the sun. And now we call that perihelion. That is when an object, any object orbiting the sun reaches its closest approach. Now that actual distance can vary. And in the case of this comet, it's getting in pretty close. It will be closer as close as about Mercury to the sun. Now, how visible is it? Well, right now you do need a telescope or binoculars to be able to see it. And depending on its positioning, as it continues to move in closer to the sun, it should brighten. But it, the brightness of a comet depends on two things. Well, first of all, it depends on how close it gets to the sun. That shows how energized it will be. And it depends on how close it gets to Earth. So it could be really bright, really well energized for the sun, but not in a position to be seen from Earth, therefore making it not very visible. So we will see what happens with Comet Swan over the coming weeks as it approaches its perihelion on May the 1st. So that was our picture of the day for April 18th of 2025. It was titled Comet C-2025 F2 Swan. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be interplanetary postmodernism. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.